Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I am doing a tea expert mica tutorial and review. So let's get started. Hey guys, so I just wanted to thank Tea Expert for sending me these gorgeous micas. This is a pack of 50 gorgeous colors. It also comes in 24. So that is really awesome. You can get two different sizes. I got the 50 pack. Look at these gorgeous colors. Wonderful variety. And I love these little packs because you can reseal them and they're pretty awesome. So it comes with some gloves and this very cool spoon to measure and most importantly i'm going to talk about this a lot this instruction uh manual and you can make makeup bath bombs and of course you can use it in resin so they have directions for everything in there and i actually bought this myself i have used this before it comes with some sticks gloves and again most importantly the directions because each resin is different so you should read the directions per resin you're using comes with these pipettes these nozzles and these cups okay and i made this gorgeous tray or cutting board with these beautiful dried flowers and i use their pigments and their resin and I think it really came out beautifully. I went very light on the resin so you could really see it. So first of all, I just want you to know that they gave me the links to their products um, for not only the United States, but, the, but Canada and the UK. They do sell in other countries. They are Amazon sellers so they did give me the links to the resin and the micas in all the different countries they sell in okay and number two so they will be in the description below so very very important they just want you guys to have the most wonderful shopping experience you possibly can okay t expert but also if you have any issues with any of their products they want you to contact customer service and they will be there to help you and please read the direction manual in both the resin and the mica and this is where i come in because i want to give a really detailed tutorial on how to use both products okay so that is what we're going to be doing next we're going to be doing a tutorial first on the resin and then we're going to be doing a very quick tutorial on the resin and then on the mica in more detail okay so let's get started with that hey guys so first i just wanted you to know that i have a very detailed um, review and tutorial on the resin i'm going to link that card right here if you want to go and watch that but first i just wanted to go over all the things you need to you know have on your table when you start resin okay and this is a one-to-one -one ratio resin so one part a and one part b one part resin and one part hardener so one ounce of resin one ounce of hardener all right so first of all take out all your supplies okay now you absolutely have to cover your surface you do not want resin everywhere so you should get yourself a silicone mat i think that's really great and then of course your surface should be balanced because you don't want your molds and your projects to be all wonky okay and then very very important you want to ventilate your area if you need to wear a mask please do that so obviously you're going to take out all your supplies first and please 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 read the directions each resin is different you know this one you have 45 minutes of work time okay now every resin is different some have less time some have more but this one has 45 minutes work time 
So you're gonna get out a heat tool, you can use a butane torch or a heat tool, your molds or canvases, whatever you wanna work with. Obviously things to mix with sticks are great because they're cheap, easy to use. You're gonna have cups. I have other cups I'm gonna use because I'm gonna mix more resin, but they do come with cups, things to measure your resin with. Very important, cover your hands. So the gloves, I have other gloves I'm gonna use. And um, let's see, yes, your micas. So obviously you don't have to use micas, but today we're definitely using micas because we're reviewing it. So you're gonna get that out. And then any elements you wanna add, if you wanna add elements. I got these cool little bubbles from AliExpress and other things you may wanna use. Even if you don't use everything, you should take everything out put it on the table already okay that way it's out and yes it's a one-to-one -one ratio and we're gonna make do a very quick resin tutorial and then we're gonna go deep into how to use their mic is okay so let's get started with that part it's a long video guys saddle up <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So we have part A and part B, the resin and the hardener. I just sped up the video a little bit so it's not too long. So we're going to move these cups over. And that's where we're gonna put the micas in. But first we're going to pour some resin into the cup. Um, I like using these cups here because they have the ridges on it where you can really see now some people, so you want equal parts, okay? Now some people do, um, actually measure it by weight um, I'm a visual person and I'm also not exact all the time but basically with this you can you can pretty much see um, with the lines and the ridges and the cups here where to stop pouring okay so basically you do want it though as quick as closely as possible the exact uh, amount of equal parts all right because some resins are two to one okay like two parts resin one part hardener but this one is easy one-to-one -one. Um, I really love using this resin I've used it many many times uh, even before they sent it to me a few months ago in that video it's a great very inexpensive and really cool um, resin so we're gonna pour the resin now into the hardener now you want to do this a little slowly. It does look a little fast here. You want don't want to create as many bubbles, um, but you can just let it sit for a couple of minutes so the air kind of dissipates. And also in winter time, the cold does have an effect on resin and you can get micro bubbles. And I do have a little bit in here, but we're still gonna make it work. So we're just gonna scrape all that resin into the hardener. Alrighty, and then we're gonna mix both parts together and that is the one of the most important parts is to mix your resin very well so when you start mixing it <clears throat> excuse me um, it does look cloudy and all resins do this so don't get scared like oh my god I ruined it no you did it okay so you get to scrape the sides and you just scrape the bottom and you're gonna keep doing that for about three to five minutes and you just keep on scraping the bottom and scraping the sides until it is clear, okay? That is very important. And you wanna do this a little slowly to not create more air bubbles, but again, you can let it sit, okay? So three to five minutes, you're gonna keep on stirring. And I'm gonna do the rest of this, you know, off camera, but I just wanna give you a quick little sneak okay guys so we are now going to open up our beautiful micas now pro tip and don't do what i did okay so pro tip open up these bags first before you put your gloves on and start touching the resin okay these are the colors i'm using because once your gloves are on and you they're sticky um it'll be hard to open up the bags like i'm having a little issue here but just do it beforehand, okay? Pro tip. All right. So we're going to pour the resin into the individual cups. 
now I usually just pour equal parts um, if you need more one more of one color please just pour more resin in that color you don't need to use all these colors I just want to use you know um, I'm using actually five different colors today and I'm gonna be doing two different techniques alrighty and I like to leave a little clear on the side just in case alright so the first way you can use this resin is with a brush. So we're going to take a little paintbrush from Artsy Fartsy Lovers that she gave me. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, and we're going to dip it right into the bag here, into this very beautiful gold color. I'm just going to really coat that brush there. And we are literally going to paint the micas on directly onto the mold so I'm gonna really go into those ridges there and basically paint on to the mold and it's really like very creamy and buttery this mica and it just blends really well really like makeup I'm, I'm like talking about like it's makeup and that's how beautiful it is look at that gorgeous color that bright bright gold and it just blends beautifully into your mold it's really great so that's one way of using this mica and it's going to be gorgeous at the end and this is called Merc King beautiful bright gold color okay so that is one way you could use their mica now you just seal up the bag and that's that I'm going to open up the rest of these off camera because they're a little hard to open Okay guys, so I opened up all the rest of the mica packs and that's beautiful symphony blue and the shimmer white And that will be going in the little mermaid tail and then we have this watermelon watermelon color and the Kim Curie and These uh, very cute bubbles that one's going in that one and that's going in the mermaid tail and then I got these very cool, they look like mini um, ice cubes in my local store. So, we got the spoon here that is included in your mica. So you start very, very small and then you could add more as you go. Now, if you didn't know this, mica does thicken resin. So do not start with a big, huge chunk. I'm just trying to get a little bit on my spoon. Okay, and again, please look at the directions to, you know, to mixing the mica and the resin. But this is why I'm doing the tutorial. So I'm just going to put it right in the resin here. And we're just going to mix it. And we're going to continue to mix it really, really well. And again, you know, bubbles get do get created when you're mixing that's fine you can like leave it for like 30 seconds to a minute and it'll start to dissipate so we're just gonna see like what the um, vibrancy is of the colors how pigmented it is and we're gonna see if we want to add more now you may want a very I'm gonna add a little more blue because I want I because I want a little bit more blue um, you can leave it very light like that like almost like clear with a little tint of blue or you could add a little more and make it more vibrant more pigmented but just please start small and um, add more as you go that's the main thing because you can't take away the pigment but you can always add more that is you know a really big point so just slowly stir and now it is at the color that I want it now the other colors that may want it a little you know less pigmented okay and you just keep on stirring till you get the desired color you want but again please read the directions because you could use this mica for many different things and the instruction book is very very it elaborates a lot on on instruction so it's great okay and now you just wipe off your spoon and you can continue to add to the other cups so I'm add a little bit of white to another cup 
just start with a little bit. There you go, that's quite enough. And just mix it in really well. And my resin has a little bit of bubbles in it because the resin was a little cold, but we're gonna make this work. It does happen in the winter a lot. And again, just add a little bit at a time. You don't have to add a lot. It does make the resin thicker. And this one does not need any more uh, pig, uh, pigment. This is more than enough. And look at that, it's beautiful pearly white color. And I love that color, it's gorgeous. Give it a little more and then I am going to mix the rest off camera and I will be right back. I'm going to mix those and we are going to clean off the spoon and then we are going to pour the resin into the molds. Okay. And I just want to show you really quick the inside of this um, instruction book so you can use it for makeup. You can make bath bombs with it. Now, I'm sorry, my gloves are sticky, so just give me one second. I just want to show you. It gives you an instruction. So you can make bath bombs with it, which is very, very cool. Handmade soap. Makeup. And here's the resin page, okay? So you have three pages of instructions. And how to use it all right so I will be back and I'm gonna pour the resin okay guys we're back and I mix look at that beautiful green color I love that Kim Curry color and the watermelon so it is time to pour the resin I love resin art I think it's great I'm really loving these micas so beautiful so we're gonna start with the white pearl here and just pour very slowly. Let the resin kind of settle into the mold. Let it move through the mold. And then now I'm going to add the blue to the tail right on top of that gold. Because that gold now is stuck to the um, mold. So you're going to definitely see it. All right. So I'm going to take my little stick here and kind of drag it through. And I'm going to mix it in the center. I'm just going to make sure it gets in the mold and all in all the little spaces. That's why I love that stick so I could drag it through but not pierce the mold. I'm going to use my butane torch and pop any bubbles. It'll make the um, air rise the heat and then you can pop them. So let's move that a little over to the side there. And we're going to bring this guy out. All right, so we're going to start with the green, and I'm just going to pour it right in the center there, very slowly. And just pour it in. Now, if you wind up having any extra resin that you already poured, don't throw it away. If you have another mold, please go and get it. That's what I do. I tend to pour to mix a little bit more resin than I usually need, but at least I don't have to like stop in the middle and mix more. So I am just pouring it right on top of that there, on top of all of the ice cubes. And this mold needs a little bit more, so I'm going to add the rest of the white right on top of that red. And I love that beautiful texture that the um, ice cubes are making. Beautiful. Very cool. And guys, if you have any, I'm now going to use my heat tool and I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. Let's give it a little different, um, a little different vibe, different texture. Just smooth that around there. And if you guys have any other questions that I did not address and you could think of, please ask me in the comments below, okay? Please don't hesitate to ask. Now I'm just going to heat it up a little bit, pop any bubbles, 
And that is that. Okay, so this is going to sit now for 24 hours. And I will be back to unmold these beautiful pieces of art. Hey guys, so I laid out all the colors, all these gorgeous, all 50, all right? Look how beautiful, every color of the rainbow you could possibly think of, metallics, um, shimmers, you would just have like these beautiful, look, apple green, gorgeous. So don't forget that um, I am going to have all the links to like the to the resin and to the micas um, for you know United States, Canada, and the UK in the description below. And please don't forget, you know, if you have any questions for me, please ask. And also, you know, ask the customer service. That's really what they just want you to have a great experience. And I have to say, I really, really, these micas are absolutely wonderful. I think the price point is amazing for what you get. Just, I think they did a wonderful job um, creating something that is affordable and the quality is amazing. And most micas can't. So, congratulations, T Expert, for making a great resin and a great mica. So, there is my beautiful. Um, mermaid tail with that beautiful gold there look how gorgeous it came out i love that you could see the blue i love that technique where you just paint in the mold i think that's beautiful so you see the blue you see the gold it just came out gorgeous and i did have some extra resin so i made another mold of this beautiful seashell and i believed i used like a violet color that beautiful shimmer so i painted the inside of the um mold again and then you have all kind of three different techniques that you have the very clear and um you have like a highly pigmented area and you have a very light pigmented area in that seashell and then here's we came out kind of weird but very unique Kind of looks like a little watermelon slice very beautiful i love the um, ice cubes and the mic is a beautiful came out really shiny and gorgeous i'm really really happy with it and the other side is strange it looks i don't know what it looks like it looks it almost looks like those little bubbles like pollen to me but you know you have both sides so you could use both sides you could flip it use this side i think i like this side better but yeah, it looks like a weird geode. I don't know, but I love it. And I just love these micas. They're very, very gorgeous. So that is all of the colors. That's all of what you get in here. I just want to thank Tea Expert again. Thank you so much for sending me these beautiful micas. Please, guys, don't forget to... Um, you know, ask any questions, ask them any questions. And if you can think of anything else, don't forget to subscribe, give me a comment, give me a like. Thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.